Tom, we are here to pimp your air conditioner. All right, I'm ready. The first step is we have to remove the screws from the top of this air conditioner. By the way, this is a, a three-ton heat pump, I believe, isn't it, Tom? Yes, it is. A heat pump with heat strip. So what we'll do is, very good, you're doing an excellent job of getting those screws off of there, and I'll get my stubby so that we can get the screws on the back side. Okay, now we've already disconnected the power and we've lifted the top from the air conditioner right here. So you see now you can see down inside of it, like you can see the compressor and some of the other components. And over here, of course, is the condensing coil, or this is the condensing coil. And over here you can see the evaporator coil and the blower. Now, first things first, we're going to clean inside of this air conditioner to make sure that it's clear of any kind of debris or anything that could um, uh, give you anything less than clear, clean air. First thing I want to do is I want, like I was saying, is I want to clean debris. We're using a shop vac, okay, right here, preferably a wet dry. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, okay, I'll start here inside. Start right inside there, cleaning any debris out of the pan, the condensate pan, and also. So there's right here in the insulation, see, the insulation gets some debris. That's a good idea to clean. While I'm at it, I'm going to clean any kind of debris inside the condensing part portion of this package unit. For more information about what is a package unit, you can see my package unit video. Okay, now we've already cleaned the condensing coil and the evaporator coil. So we're real clean inside. Now the next step I want to do is I want to put in a larger step-down transformer that will take us from 208, 240 to 24 volts and 75 VA. Right now he has a, a 40 VA transformer in here and we want to put in a 75 VA because we're going to be uh, using a little more electricity for some of the add-ons that we're about to uh, feature in this video. Okay, now this is the condensing coil. This is what removes the heat in the summertime and um, actually collects the heat in the winter because this is a heat pump and in one of my videos I pointed out this component right here which is a reversing valve and that basically is what makes this system a heat pump. This is the evaporator coil when you get a call for cool. This is what removes the heat. Okay and and sends the heat to your condensing coil to be removed outside and this is the blower right here inside here's a little blower wheel I'm turning um, that turns and moves the air through this evaporator coil okay this is the control panel inside this air conditioning system as you can see, here's the contactor, and here's the transformer that we're going to replace so that we can have a more amperage power uh, for our new add-ons that I'll explain later. And uh, so this component, this transformer here, is about to get replaced. And here we have it. 
Here's a brand new transformer. This is a 75 VA transformer instead of the 40 VA transformer that we have right here. We took this one out and put in the 75 because we are going to pimp out this air conditioner with a couple of UV lights. As one reason that we needed a little extra power on our control transformer because these two UV lights actually use 24 volts of power. Now we're going to mount these UV lights inside of his blower section of the air conditioner. Um, see, for example, this one right here is going to go right here. I mounted the mount fort right on the uh, side of the coil. So, see, this will go right in here. It will actually fit real nice. Okay, now, we've put our UV lights into position, as you can see, and we've wired them to the ballasts, which I've mounted on the side here. And now we have to actually connect the ballast to a 24 volts uh, power supply. And before I forget, I have to wipe down these UV lamps um, just to uh, so that get all the fingerprints and dust and whatever else might have landed on it during the installation. It'll help to preserve the lamp or actually extend the lamp life at least as much as a year which the manufacturer gives because um, if you don't make sure that they're clean then you they're not going to last you a year okay we have our ballast right here for our lights our UV lights hooked up to our new 24 volt transformer and uh, next we're going to put the top back on and see if, uh, if it works. Okay, now we have the UV lights installed and uh, Tom's pointing at the two view holes that uh, we've made so that you can look inside and make sure that the UV lights are working uh, without blinding yourself because you don't really want to look at the light itself while it's on. The next step we're going to do in pimping out this air conditioner is we're going to replace the thermostat. Due to my health condition, sarcoidosis stage 4, I have a hard time breathing. Humidity uh, actually uh, gives me a heck of a time. And we are re replacing this old stat, this old Honeywell, with a Vision Pro uh, IAQ stat digital. It will control the humidity and it will also give me a two degree possibility split versus a four degree possible split which will save energy in the long run paying for itself. It's now we've replaced the old mercury thermostat with the Honeywell Vision Pro IAQ and now Tom can regulate his humidity in his bedroom as well as the temperature. We've also moved the thermostat to his bedroom from the living room so that when he's sleeping he'll be able to make sure that the temperature in his bedroom is exactly the way he wants it. Now that we've moved his thermostat he has plenty of room to keep his fishing poles and a little welcome sign and, and it looks very nice. It's not nearly as unsightly as the old mercury stat on the wall.